Hello and welcome to February's Diabetes Technology Report. Uh, I'm just filming a very, very short introduction here. Pretty much the entire episode this month has been filmed in Madrid uh, because pretty much all of the news from this month has happened during the Advanced Technologies and Treatment for Diabetes Conference, which this year happened in Madrid. I was very lucky to be there. So um, let's go back about a week to me discussing everything that happened there in Madrid. It's Sunday, my last day here in Madrid, and if I will sit down with some coffee to talk you through everything that was announced here at ATTD in Madrid. Inchlet signed a partnership with Abbott to integrate Omnipod Horizon with Abbott's Freestyle Libre system. So um, in the future, Omnipod Horizon um, closed loop system will work with Freestyle Libre as well, which is super exciting. It means more choice for us when picking our um, closed loop system. Also, Inchlet announced that Omnipod Horizon will also work with Dexcom G7 um, when G7 is commercially available. So this means that Omnipod Horizon closed loop system will work with G6, G7 and Freestyle Libre. Also, inhalable glucagon from um, Lily called um, Baximi, B-A-Q-S-I-M-I, -I, uh, which is approved by FDA and um, it's C-marked, uh, was shown with some uh, really interesting data. This is a glucagon, normally you would inject glucagon, um, it, it would be an injection, but there's an inhalable glucagon, so you just inhale it in your nose um, and um, it looks, like that. Dibaloop um, launched a large clinical study to support its eye uh, controller FDA clearance. So this is the first step into making Dibaloop's uh, Dibaloop system available in the US. So the um, eye um, controller um, <coughs> classification is the same thing that uh, Tidal Loop um, is trying to achieve. So it's just the brain behind a closed loop system which you know um, decides how much more or less insulin to give you. Also they will have announced a partnership with Soil, uh, the Korean pump company to um, integrate the Dana I insulin pump into the Dibaloop system. That's interesting. Isn't it? Yeah. Leah says it's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for some live commentary here. <laughs> Eating strawberries. <laughs> How are you liking your strawberries? Really good. Also, Dexcom announced that they have C marked the Dexcom G6 system um, for use in pregnancy and at the back of the arm. So this will be available um, in countries slowly throughout Europe uh, later this year. So, um, so you'll be able to use your Dexcom G6, um, not on, only on your abdomen, but also on the back of the arm, and also for uh, women during pregnancy. I always wear it on my arm, like most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I also always post pictures with that, so. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's easier, isn't it? Yeah. You just, you just live in, in the future, Leah, that's what you're doing. Yeah. She's living in the future. I'm sorry for talking into your videos. Um, it's fine. Also, I just wanted to mention a couple of interesting things that I've learned. So there was a really interesting kind of um, study research being done in Belgium. And this re research showed that access to real-time CGM saved the country 345,509 euros. Um, and this is just the financial side of uh, less uh, administrations into hospitals and um, less um, hypos, so on and so forth. Obviously, not to mention, you know, access to real type CGM hugely improves quality of life. But I just thought that was really fascinating to actually hear an economic figure which backs that up. Yes, please. <laughs> 
So how's my vlog? I don't know, not like this. <laughs> she just woke up. Also, I've learned that Medtronic 670G is currently used by over 230,000 people worldwide. Uh, so I think that's quite a lot of closed loop users. Results of the loop um, observational study um, have been published. Uh, I'm gonna put some screenshots duh, 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 here so you can have a look. Great results, I think they, it's great to see, you know, an anecdotal um, feedback about a uh, loop system. Uh, you know, um, I've had, you know, in incredible experience with it and it helped me so much. So it's great to actually see that being proven by an observational study. Um, if you want to read more, I'm going to put some link in the description. Hey! It's present me again. Um, a couple more things that I didn't talk about uh, in the clip from ATTD. So I've got two new stories about uh, InPen from Companion Medical. So first of all, they've signed a um, data partnership with Sensonics, the company behind the implantable continuous glucose monitor, to integrate the CGM data from the Eversense CGM into InPen's. Um, system and second news is that in pens bolus calculator for fixed dosing and fixed meal estimation has been FDA approved this is the first time approval like this has been given to a bolus calculator which is created for people on fixed doses of insulin and who do not cap count and one more thing that I wanted to talk about before I go um, uh, that I think is really cool. Dexcom has launched this um, server update report status tool website. I don't know what they're officially calling it actually. Um, so um, basically you can uh, go to the website which will be linked in the video description. And if you are experiencing any issues uh, with uh, any of the Dexcom services like Dexcom Share, Follow, Clarity, you cannot log into your web shop or whatever, um, you can go on that website to see if it's some kind of wider issue or whatever that's something that just applies to you. Um, so I think it's great. A lot of tech companies have a very similar approach. So Apple does it for the iCloud services. So you can check to see if they have some issues so yeah uh, i would recommend maybe adding it to your favorites uh, on your phone or your browser so you can quickly check it when you're experiencing issues in the future and so that's it thank you so much for watching i see you in the next one bye bye